In this video, I'm going to be looking at how to answer a Leaving Cert Engineering question on solid solution thermal equilibrium diagrams, and specifically, it's going to be this question, which is the question from 2022, question 5, um, solid solution thermal equilibrium diagrams. So the first thing you should note is, oftentimes with, thermal, with the solid solution thermal equilibrium diagrams, the temperature at zero and the temperature at 100% of one of the alloys will always be the same. So we'll always have a single point to start with and a single point to end with. Uh, in another video, I will be looking at a eutectic alloy, um, which will look different, and I'll explain it in that video, so keep an eye out for that. So, to start off with, similar to other diagrams, the first thing you need to do is you need to look at your um, axes. So if we look at this diagram here, I'm starting off with graph paper, and as I usually do, I tend to put my graph paper in landscape format. Um, it's purely a personal preference. Uh, you can do it any way you like. If I start down here with zero, along the um, x-axis, which is your horizontal axis, typically down here, you're going to have your percentage of alloy. And in this case, it's alloy B. So we can keep this simple, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So it keeps that nice and simple, nice and straightforward for us. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. And our y-axis up here is simply temperature, and that is in degrees centigrade. Now, you don't have to start from zero for temperature, because a lot of the bottom part of these graphs is basically just empty space. So if we look at it, our t starting temperature point is at 1120 and our finishing is at 1500. So if we have a look at it here, if I start at 1000 degrees here, and if I go up in steps of, let's see, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, if I go up in steps of 100, You don't need to show all the temperatures below that because there is no information to be gathered from that. And in an exam situation, you will not lose marks for starting your diagram or starting your chart at a thousand degrees. So that is an important point. The information we're looking for is in the actual graph itself. So it does not matter the lower section, which is just all empty space. And it just makes it easier to draw a larger, more visible graph. Now, let's start plotting these points. So the first point is at 1120. So that's 1110, 1120 is right there. I'm going to mark all these in red pen. The second one then is we have 1128, which is approximately there. And we have a 1225. So 12, 10, 20, 1225 there. Then we have 1150, which is there. And we have 1295, which is approximately there. Then we have 1170, which is approximately there. And we have 1345, which is approximately there. We have 1195 and uh, 1390, which is there. We have 1225, which is approximately there, and 1420, which is there. Then we have 1260 and 1445, which is approximately there. I'm saying approximately because this doesn't need to be 100% accurate because you're going to be marked on the information you read from your chart. So it doesn't actually matter if it's not 100% accurate when you plot these points. Um, so we're now at 70%, which is 1295 and 1468, which is approximately there, 1350, which is there, and 1485, which is there, 1420, which is there, and 1495, which is there, and then our finishing point for B is exactly at 1500, 
and then I'm just going to draw a smooth curve between my points. Now, that is the first part of this question. You're asked to draw the, the equilibrium diagram according to the given data and then label the two points. So this point up here is your liquidus line. And that point down there is your solidus line. So everything above that line is a liquid. Everything below that line is a solid. And in the middle here, we have a mixture of a solid and a liquid, which we call the pasty stage. So that's the first part, that's the most straightforward part of this question. Now the second part is a little bit more complex, so bear with me while I explain this for you. So for an alloy containing 70% metal, so that's at this point here, determine from the diagram the ratio of phases. So what they're looking for at this point here is the ratio of solid to liquid between the two, the ratio of solid to liquid. So you're told that it's 70%, and the other thing you're told is you're told it is at 1400 degrees. So what you have here is you have a proportion of solid and a proportion of liquid. Now I'm going to label these three points. This point here is point A, this point here is point B, and this point here is point C. And what we are looking for is we're looking for the ratio of AB to B, C. Now, the question here is which of these is showing the solid and which of these is showing the liquid? Um, there's a couple of different ways. You can just memorize it, but if in an exam situation you find you can't remember which is which, this is a simple little trick which I developed. If I put my ruler on point B and I slide it all the way down to point A, at that point a, B is zero. Now, if A is my liquidus line, that means at point A I have 100% liquid. If point B is my solid, C is my solidus line, then at point C I have 100% solid. Now, as I move A, move my ruler away from A, the proportion of liquid is decreasing, the proportion of solid is increasing until I get to that point. So AB is measuring my solid. If I keep on moving AB, I keep on going until I get to that point where I have 100% solid. So AB is now at 100%, BC is at zero, which means there is zero liquid, 100% solid. So because of this, AB is measuring the proportion of solid and BC is measuring the proportion of liquid. Now, now that you figure that out, you know what you're looking for. I go to point A, and what I do is I bring a line down from point A, and I measure what that point is there, and that looks like it is 42. I go to point C, and I bring down the line from point C, and that looks like it is 88. So. My ratio of solid to liquid is 70 minus 42 to 70, uh, 88 minus 70. So that is 38 to 18. So the ratio there is 38 parts solid to 18 parts liquid. And that is approximately 2 is to 1. Approximately. Because 40, 20, so that's where I got that. Approximately 2 is to 1 from. Now, the important part here is you're asked to determine. If you do this, like I've just shown you here, and if you do this step, show the steps you used to arrive at that ratio of 2 is to 1, solid is to liquid. So that if you do happen to make a mistake up here somewhere, you will still get some marks for this particular question. Now the last part of this question is simplicity itself. The melting point for metal A and the melting point for metal B. 
The melting point for metal A is this point here, which we know is 1120. The melting point for metal B is this point here, which we know is 1500. Now, that is the solid solution diagram. That is the more straightforward of the thermal equilibrium diagrams. Um, hopefully this video made sense. Um, if not, then feel free to reach out to me. Um, comments will be turned off for this video on YouTube. Um, okay, that's it.